Rooted. It's a celebration, a conversation, all in consideration of black hair. When I started first grade, I had natural curly hair. All the girls in my class had pretty straight hair. I was born with naturally curly hair. So therefore, I begged my mom to let me get my hair straightened so I could look like everybody else. Hmm. And back then, they, we used a hot comb. Actually put it on the fire and straighten your hair. So I started going to the beauty shop and they would straighten my hair. They had the curlers and curlers. So I felt like I was in place with the rest of the students. Do you ever look back on that moment and, and, and understand where your mom was coming from? Yes, and I truly regret that I didn't listen to her because my hair, even though it's curly now, to me it's not as pretty as it was back then. We understand as African Americans fought for our rights to exist in America, to be seen and be heard as people, as humans, right? And so a part of that proving that we were worthy, proving that we were just like everyone else meant assimilation. It meant I can read the books, I can speak the same way, I can wear my hair the same way. I thought straight hair was the standard because that's all I knew. As I explained to you about the pressing comb and then I graduated to relaxers. So I didn't know anything else. No one ever talked to me about how beautiful you know, my natural texture was or that it was an option. All I ever heard was griping about, oh my gosh. It would take forever to do your hair if it was natural. You know, so thick. Like, you, you need to get a relaxer and, and tame it. Relax your hair and you keep everybody around you relaxed. Because black hair has been so politicized. You know, you go back to the 70s when, you know, people associated afros with, you know, black power and somehow that was a bad thing. I think the reason that straight hair is associated with beauty um, is because, because that's what we see in the magazines, that's what's all over TV. As a parent, you know, I try to teach my girls and my son um, too that however you look, that's how you look and you're beautiful just the way that you are. Um, it makes me confident to rock my natural hair because some girls like if they don't make their hair the neatest as possible as they can that day, they'll ask for a brush to fix it. As a black woman um, who has worked in predominantly white institutions my entire career, I have to be very intentional um, about the things that I say sometimes and how I say them. Delivery is very important, but it does mean that you are hyper aware all of the time. And you're hyper aware because we live in a society that tells you that certain groups act certain ways. Okay, so when I decided to transition into being natural, there was a reaction at work. It was definitely just going from bone straight to, um, again, cutting off all of my hair, showing my natural curl. There were um, just things, and I remember a CEO of my company just coming to me and saying like, is there something going on? Um, to the point that maybe I was sick, or was I making a statement? You know, was somebody else sick in my family? I mean, it was, uh, I, I had to prepare myself when I decided to make a transition that I was going to be answering a lot of questions. That made me very uncomfortable. Um, and I, I wasn't prepared for that mm -hmm. at all, mentally. At one place that I worked, um, I once had someone just come up and say, oh my goodness, how long did this take? How long, what all did you have to do? And just run their fingers through my hair. And at that point, I was just pretty over it. So I just walked away. I was just like, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> and uh, later that day, I think I went, um, went and found someone that I could talk to who understands having black hair and having those microaggressions. Natural hair is our birthright. Natural hair is a part of our ancestry. Natural hair is how we sleep and wake up and how we love ourselves. So it should be a thing that should be natural. And our hair and our curls and our coils and our twists and our braids show that because that's the only language everyone across the country speaks. If someone said good hair to you, what would that look like to you? If you had to explain what good hair meant to you? Good hair means any way you want to wear your hair is good hair. I think God created us all equal and he made our hair different for a reason. 